Hello everybody, welcome into the hobby bar. This is Jason, and welcome. Today, we'll be working on this guy, the uh, Gene Steeler Cult Patriarch we've been working on for the past uh, couple weeks. Wanna continue working on him? Maybe get the base done today. We'll see what happens. Uh, also work on the helmet. Try to get him closer to completion. But yeah, so yeah, mostly the base, just get things set up. All right. So if you do any hobby, feel free to jump in. If not, work along with whatever you're working on. Alrighty, first up here, we're coming in with Citadel Mechanicus Standard Gray. Uh, using this to pick out the rocks and skulls that are around on the base. Uh, making this just standard gray color. Uh, I tend to like to do skulls with the base coat of gray first instead of white, because then I can build them up to sort of a stone and take it from there one step higher with Screaming Skull later on. But, uh, for this part, just wanted to get them all grayed up, and we can work on that next time when we do some finishing touches on this, uh, Patriarch. But, uh, yeah, I just need to go around and get this gray down on everything, and we'll be good to go. Uh, no, I wanted to try using more of the, uh, some of the other Monument Hobby brushes that I picked up, but I just for whatever reason, decided to pick up this, uh, uh, Red Grass game, uh, size 2 brush that I've had, and, uh, it's a natural hairbrush, works pretty well, um, I just wanted to see how it would behave and then wash it with the, uh, with the new brush cleaner that I picked up as well with these, uh, Monument Hobby brushes, so, instead of trying out the size 3 like I wanted to, I went back to a size 2 to do a lot of this stuff. Just to see if I can be a bit more accurate with it, with this size too, but uh, kind of wasn't, but is what it is. We're gonna go ahead and finish base coating the rocks and stuff around the uh, the pipe here with the uh, gray color, and I'll catch up with y'all here in a few for the next color. Alrighty, here we are moving on to Citadel of Bad and Black. I uh, wanted to use this as a base coat for the pipe on the uh, on the figure that he's sitting on. Uh, noticed in the picture I took for the thumbnail that I missed some spots, so we'll have to come back and touch it up a bit under his uh, toe blades. But otherwise, just wanted to base coat it all in the uh, Bad and Black and get it going here. This way we can have a nice dark undercoat for the uh, lead belcher and other metallics that we'll put on here to make it a metal pipe instead of just a dark uh, pipe like, it is, like it'll uh, be after just this coat. But uh, this will take a few coats. We'll also base coat a few other things on here. This uh, black color. That'll also be uh, metal later. And uh, yeah. This part will take a little bit of time, probably one of the longer parts of, uh, of today's work. It's just base coating this stuff all with the bat and black. Um, we'll come back to the color a couple times as well, or at least one more time. But that'll be much later that we'll use it. But, yeah. New completion on this mini. Uh, pretty happy with some of the experimenting that I did early on. And then, uh, kind of settled back down into more of a normal pace for myself kind of a deal um and yeah just sort of pretty happy with how it's turning out so far nothing too fancy and nothing too simple i guess for the way i normally paint so at least it's a nice change of pace if nothing else and i'm relatively happy with how it's turning out so far gotta cut in and touch up some details but that can be done later but, uh, yeah. Go ahead and let the rest of this band black play out. And, uh, yeah. I'll catch up with you all here in a little bit for the next color.
Alrighty, here we are coming in with some Macrag Blue, also a Citadel paint. Um, I noticed there was a second Space Marine helmet on the base here, amidst the skulls and other sundry items. So, uh, at this point I was like, well, I don't want to do another red helmet, uh, even though that would make sense. So, let's pick on everybody's good old favorite poster boys, the Ultramarines, and make it blue helmet. Um... Just need to knock that out real quick. Nice and easy with the Mercrag blue. And then I noticed I missed a spot here, so even though I touched it up with, it with uh, a band black, I didn't swap the card. Now we're moving on to Eosin Green. This is a privateer press color. Um, I usually don't use P3 paints, and that's kind of their brand is P3. Um, just because when I first used it, I didn't really care for the consistency of it. Uh, after a few years and playing with other paint brands like uh, Cephalopod Studio stuff with the Cuttlefish colors and playing a bit more with the Vallejo and other paints and thinning down Citadel paints more. Uh, it's kind of grown on me a bit. Um, granted, their pop design is obnoxious to me, but arguably so is GW's and arguably so are dropper bottles. They each have their pluses and minuses, so... It's not that big of a deal. It's just getting used to the paint and everything. But we're going to use this uh, Eos and Green on the sort of mucusy bits that are around on the base. And uh, pick all of those out. I tried to avoid them when I was painting this stuff gray or black. And it's fine though. Uh, this Eos and Green's pretty bright, uh, relatively speaking. So <laughs> it should be able to show up over the uh, other stuff even though some of the other paint might come through as well. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and go around and get this down, and uh, yeah, catch up with y'all here in a little bit for the next paint. Alrighty, next up is a uh, lead belcher from Citadel as well. I uh, wanted to use this to get the metal down on the uh, blades and everywhere else on the uh, now darkened up part of the pipe. This way it's all metal. I could have dry brushed, but it probably would have made a mess and gotten some on the blades and stuff of the uh, already painted Patriarch, so. Figure take a little more time and just do this the uh, the uh, alternative way, uh, or some might say the normal way, where you just sort of put paint down over things instead of dry brushing over everything and doing it that way. But either way, uh, just wanted to go around and make all these blades shiny and get this pipe started to get shiny up like it's metal instead of just a dark dark old pipe. So. We'll be using lead belcher for that. And, uh, yeah. This process will take a bit of time, so... Go ahead and catch up with y'all here in a little while for the next paint.
Alrighty, here we are coming back to P3's Yosin Green. Because I noticed a couple of areas that I touched with the uh, metallic paint. So I wanted to go back in and hit them with the uh, green color again. After that, we're swamping over to uh, good old Retributor Armor from Citadel again. Uh, hopefully the overlay doesn't cause me issues this time. Figured out last time that it was this little element that was causing issues. I don't know what it was exactly, but we'll see when rendering comes if it kills it again. It'd be pretty sad if it does. But I want to pick out the two uh, emblems on the uh, base here. There's some Gene Stealer cult iconography on the bottom there. So I wanted to pick them out in gold, even though they probably wouldn't be gold if they're just in a pile of rocks, skulls, and etc. But figured, eh, we'll paint them gold anyway, because that's the color on everybody else. Now we're coming back in with some lead belcher again, and picking out some areas around the pipe. I think I was just touching up some of the areas and getting others to be metal again. I also wanted to hit this valve with the metal. This way it has a base coat of metal under whatever paint I'll put over it. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and hit a bunch of areas with this lead belcher. And I think I also touched some of the pipes with it. Uh, there's a pipe, a smaller pipe on the front as well. Uh, sadly, this model's a bit big, so it kind of gets in the way of everything. So, can't see all the stuff that I'm trying to show you. I also decided to hit these uh, little tubes that are hanging from the helmet. Which, the helmet in his hand's a bit weird, because you'd think there would be a head in it or something, but there's not. It seems more like a robot's head than a space marine's head. But, whatever. Uh, designers be designing, I guess. But yeah, we'll go ahead and pick out some stuff with this lead belcher. And I'll catch up with y'all here in a couple for the uh, next paint. Alrighty, here we are moving on to Cephalopod Studios Black Knight. I wanted to use this paint because I haven't gotten to try it yet, and it is their uh, black paint. I guess you could say akin to, uh, I guess Ashen Gray would be the easiest one to compare it to. Just wanted to hit that cover back there real quick, and then we're into Harlot Red from, again, from Cephalopod Studios. I wanted to use this as a base coat for this valve because I wanted to make it a red valve cover. Not because Valve for video games, but it's one of those standard tropes where industrial stuff has red valves. And then we're moving right on along to uh, Dark Brown Wash, also a uh, cuttlefish color. I mostly wanted to experiment with these cuttlefish colors on this mini, that's why I'm using them a lot. And uh, their washes tend to be very singular color, I've noticed. It's not like if I were to take Agrax, which is brown with a hint of green in it, and throw it over it. It's it's what it says it is. This is a brown wash, so it's a brown wash. That's it. Simple. Um, I wanted to put this over the metal just to give it that sort of dirty, dingy look. Um, like, it's been sitting here underground for a while, and hasn't been cleaned because this patriarch's kind of been sitting on top of it kind of a deal. So, I wanted to hit all of the metal with this brown look. So way, maybe it's a bit rusty or just really dirty. I'll say really dirty, but who knows. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and also start hitting the back plate, a bit of the ground, like everything that just needs to get dirty and brown. Um, I'll also use, I'll have to use this, remember to use this next time on the astro granite. This way the astro granite. Spoiler alert, gonna use astro granite on the base. This way the astro granite later will uh, also kind of match the stones on the uh, on the base here. But anyway, go ahead and finish up this wash. Just throwing it over everything. And I'll catch up with you all here in a little bit for the next paint. All 
Alrighty, here we are moving back to Black Knight really briefly, just because I want to use this a bit on the uh, uh, underside of the helmet there where the cables are hanging out. And I wasn't quite happy with how it was turning out using the Black Knight, since eh, we'll get over that here in a bit. But I swap over to a Bad and Black from Citadel. Um, so I swapped over to a Bad and Black because the uh, base coat was still there, is stark white. And just putting the Black Knight over the stark white really wasn't doing much. Um, I get it, multiple thin coats, but it would have taken me so many more coats. And I'm just like, eh, we'll just go to a bad and black and get this knocked out real quick. Um, since it's a base paint, so it's a much stronger uh, paint. And much thicker paint, because Citadel paints tend to be thicker. But then we go ahead and use it in a bit of an a few other areas as well, um, mostly the uh, grills on the front of the uh, Space Marine helmets, and I think I also get it in the eyes of the, try to get it in the eyes of both helmets anyway. This way, they've been sitting for a while, they're not powered, so they're just going to be black lens kind of things, I figured. So that's why we're going ahead and doing that. But uh, yeah, we're just going around with the band black, touching up some areas, picking some things out. And I'll catch up with y'all here in a little bit for the next color. Alrighty, here we are with Sufflepod Studios Crawdaddy Red. I just wanted to put Crawdaddy Red over the uh, valve here as well, just to pick it out and brighten it up a little bit more, but still show some of that metal through the bottom and that Harley Red in some areas. So, just a quick little coat of this, and that'll be that. Alrighty, big old bl blob of astro granite time. So, I wanted to use Astro Granite on this because I want I wanted it to match the leaders of the army. So that's why I'm picking it out with uh with Astro Granite. But uh I kind of scooped out quite a bit of it. Um towards the end, I'm kind of happy I scooped out a, a big old scoop of it for this base instead of what I usually do, which is a very thin amount because it let me sort of level all the way up to where the plastic height is instead of just a thin layer, and then you can see the plastic rise up above the thin layer that I put down of it. So it kind of let me have enough to build up towards the uh, the plastic there, where it touches the base. But uh, it's going to be a lot to spread around, if you couldn't tell from the big blob there on the, on the base in front of them. Though then again, Patriot kind of gets in the way of everything. Um, but yeah, so... Just kind of sort of spreading it around though, and uh, this will be the last bit that I do today because this stuff takes a while to dry and I wasn't sure what else I wanted to do on them yet since I was approaching about two hours of recording time on them. Uh, but yeah, because I had a couple of interruptions in there, so kind of going around with the Astro Granite. We'll get that down. Probably next week we'll do some touch-up detail stuff, wash the base, rim the base. Uh, maybe do a bit of dry brushing, just to pick out some uh, of the texture on it. But, yeah, just going around and trying to level it off. Doing the short little stabby, stabby, lovely bits with the, uh, with that end of the, uh, whatever you want to call it, the texture tool from the Citadel as well. But, just want to go ahead and go around and do that. I did notice now that some other company has done, uh, a uh, concrete, acrylic concrete, and like acrylic ac acrylic asphalt. Kind of upset I don't have that right now because that's actually how I wanted to base a lot of my army was, a lot of this army was with asphalt and concrete because they're industrial and it's like, oh, well, that would have been nice, but oh well. Just work with what I got until I run out and then maybe I can try some of that stuff later on. But basically, almost done here. 
I was tempted to uh, time lapse and just show this stuff dry, but it's honestly not as interesting as watching the uh, time lapse of the uh, other paint, the Agrellan Earth, because that crackles. Alrighty, last call, everybody. Last call. Uh, here's the spin of the uh, Patriarch where he's at right now. Uh, relatively happy with how it's going so far. Mostly just did the uh, pipe there and the base today. Nothing too fancy. Uh, I think I gotta go back and pick out some details on uh, on those ribbed areas and fix a couple of other things here and there. Uh, noticed under his toes there's some areas that didn't get hit very well with paint, so gotta touch that up as well. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we're able to get some stuff done today. Hope you enjoyed this process. Just sort of vlogging along as share what I'm doing with whoever's interested. <laughs> anyway, got anything for me? Feel free to leave it below. We can discuss some stuff. If not, then that's cool too. Hope you all have a good one out there. And take care, everyone.